thank you very much. I would like to start with a question. What was the most discussed topic of Swift community? What do you think? Except optionals, right? It was JSON parsing. And there were like battles on the blogs about what's the best way of parsing JSON all over uh, the internet, right? And it's also reflected in lots of libraries. If you can see, there are 381 projects actually dedicated to uh, Swift and JSON. But what if I would tell you there is another way that you can avoid parsing JSON altogether? Meet flat buffers. It was originally created at Google for game development and other performance critical applications. And it's an efficient cross-platform serialization library for C++, Java, C Sharp, Go, Python, JavaScript, and other languages. I had some times over Christmas, and I made a small implementation of flat buffers for Swift. But first of all, I would like to tell you why it is actually good to use flat buffers. Well, first and the most important thing is there is no parsing involved. Even though um, the parsing of JSON is pretty fast in Objective-C, it still takes some time, specifically if you have a large JSON file. With flat buffers, there is, everything is done lazily, so there is literally zero cost for parsing. It's also backwards and forwards compatible, meaning that new code can read old data and old code can read new data which can come pretty much handy, specifically if you have different versions of your applications on different clients. Then it's not human readable and it's a good thing, right? Because you can actually just save data and then people can't uh, read it uh, when they open the documents folder. If you don't believe me, here is a, a small JSON object and this is how it looks like as a flat buffer. So try to reverse engineer it. It would be lots of fun, I would say. Even though it's pretty much low level, the API itself is pretty easy. So you can just create a person, and then you can um, just serialize it into a byte array. If you want to read it, you, uh, we have an, uh, lazy access on the person, and then you, you can directly read the properties of this object. If you are interested uh, or want to get involved, uh, the stuff is on the GitHub, and thank you very much. <laughs>